Hello everyone and welcome back to another Miniature Monday. I'm Scott and today I want to show you how to make a wet palette for under a dollar. Now some of you might be thinking, hey Scott, what's a wet palette? So let's cover that really quick. A wet palette is, as the name suggests, a wet painting palette that helps to extend the life of your paint over the course of a day. Now this is usually achieved using a paint palette parchment Ooh, that's hard to say, sitting on top of a moisture retaining material such as a sponge. Now you can find a few of these for sale online. I know Army Painter makes one for about $25 and you can even find them for as low as $12 on Amazon. But let's say maybe you don't wanna spend a lot of money on one to start with. Or maybe, like me, you have a lot of people coming over for a painting party and you need eight to 10 palettes. That's gonna get pretty pricey pretty quickly. Now I'm gonna show you how I make my painting palette using very affordable materials, and in some cases, materials you might already have laying around the house. So with that being said, let's get to it. To start building our palette, we are going to need a plate. Personally, I prefer these square plastic plates. I'm a big fan of the size and shape of them, and you can pick up a pack of 10 of these from a party supply store for about $5. That being said, any old plate will do. If you have one laying around the house that you aren't too worried about getting paint on or want to head on over to the thrift store, that will work just fine. Next, you are going to need some paper towels. This is what will hold the moisture for our palette. And you will also need some parchment paper. This you can typically find in the baking section of your local grocery, and you can pick up a pack of around 40 sheets for under $4. This is going to be what we put our paint on. And finally, you will need some water. The first thing that we are going to need to do is measure out how much parchment we need for our palette. I find that with my plate, about an eighth of a sheet is all that I need. So after a few quick cuts, we are good to go. Now that we've got that sorted, we are going to fold up the paper towel so that it fits neatly into the base of our plate. With that in place, we're gonna go ahead and pour some water onto our paper towel. We wanna make sure that the entire towel is wet and that there's enough excess water in the bottom so that it sloshes around ever so slightly. Not too much though, we don't want our parchment to be floating. If there's ever too much water, we can go ahead and just pour it back out. And as always, making sure to clean up our space. Now we're gonna go ahead and lay the parchment paper down, making sure to push away all of the air bubbles from underneath. You may find that the edges might start to curl up a little bit, but that's totally fine. Just give the parchment some time to absorb all the water and flatten it back out again. And with that, we have a perfectly functioning wet palette. Our paints won't dry out as quick and blending them on the palette is a breeze. And there you have it, one easy to make and affordable wet palette. Now, I think with everything said and done, each of these palettes run me about 50 cents. Now, there are some fancier palettes on the market that come with things like a lid that let you store your paint overnight. But if you're not sure if a wet palette is for you and are looking to maybe dip your toes in the water, this is an excellent place to start. And even for people who've been painting for a while, this is a great alternative. Personally, I've been painting with this exact palette for over a year now. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more nerdy content. Once again, I'm Scott, and I will see you at the next Miniature Monday.